Welcome Global Atomians. Once again, we are here at the Atomy International Business Class with Global Leaders. How are you all doing? I hope everyone's doing okay. My name is Mike Sujadi. I'm a Sharon Rose Master from Atomy Canada. So we are very fortunate today. We are at the second last of our business class before we ended for this season one for this year. So I'd like to welcome again for everyone who are still in the waiting room is about 14 people, 15 people there. And make sure they follow the Zoom name requirement, which is the country code, full name, mastership or the dealership, and then the speaker who invites them into this meeting. So without this proper naming, we unfortunately, we won't be able to admit them. Please tell them to quit the waiting room and then rename them and then come back to the business class. As usual, we will watch a short video from our Atomy company. And I think this is a good reminder for all all of us that we're in the same company that is for me is a very best company and I'm very proud of it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Hello, Atomy members worldwide. My name is Hangel Pa and I will be in charge of the safe operation of the AWSS. Use of all electronic devices are allowed during the flight, including cell phones and tablet PCs for your convenience. We will do our best to make flight AWSS a shortcut for success. Have a pleasant flight. A company that keeps the principles and creates a new distribution culture. A company that grows from the trust of its global customers. A company that cherishes the spirit and embodies love and sharing. A company that goes for customer success beyond customer satisfaction. We are Proud Atomy. After establishing its headquarters in South Korea in 2009, Atomy has opened branches in 20 countries around the world. Based on its unique core values and has reached the mark of 15 million members globally and is connecting the world as a market. With a philosophy of absolute quality and absolute pricing, we have achieved 0% refunds for 10 years. Hemohim only was sold over 1 trillion Korean won worldwide. 4,970 global seminars were held for our customer success. 4,260 global centers were opened for our aspiring members. Ranked as top 10 companies with high growth rate through continuous sales growth every year. With an unlimited potential in the global market, global sales exceeded 1.9 trillion Korean won in 2020. And we are preparing for a bigger leap forward through various global markets. Based on Atomy's management strategy that puts honesty and goodwill above all else, and the philosophy of absolute quality and absolute price that no one can follow, we are practicing our absolute goal of realizing our customer's success. And we are having a good influence on all the places where sharing is needed. So that all members of society can live a better life through principle-centered, mutual growth, and sharing culture. Atomy promises to lead the global market and moves on to a bigger stage with you through the success of our customers.
Yeah, thank you everyone. So I'd like to remind everyone, this is also a live stream on the YouTube channel. So if you go on the top, there's a live on YouTube or if you're on the mobile phone, it's on the bottom left. Just click on it and then set it, send it to your members or your groups who are not able to enter this business class for some reason. So I'd like to uh, chant out our company motto. Just make sure you shout out to your, from your lung and then shout it to the loudest as possible. Okay, in the count on three. Company motto. Cherish the spirit, create the vision, follow the faith, serve in humility. Aja, aja, aja. Thank you very much, everyone. I'd like to remind you about the business class commitment. The first one is I agree to attend every, walk, every week's classes. Failing to attend each class, I understand that I may not be admitted to the next classes. Second, I must join on time. Late admission may not be admitted into the Zoom. Third, I must have undivided attention. I will refrain from any cooking, laying down, or other personal activities. Fourth, I must focus and learn as much as possible to become a successful Atomy business owner. The Zoom etiquette, the first one. Like I said, the Zoom name requirement is very important to be admitted to the class. The country code, full name, master shape, or the dealership, and then the speaker who invites you into this meeting. Second, be on time. Third, Turn on the camera whenever it's possible. Fourth, dress appropriately. Fifth, stay seated with undivided attention. Six, mute your microphone when you are not speaking. The business class code is always happening every Wednesday, same time, 9.30, but next week we have a time change in US and Canada, so it might a little bit different change time in, in Asia. So you might have to check with your sponsor or with me what is the new time, but you will see it on the poster. Like I said, the Zoom code will always be the same, but the password will change every week. We still have one more class before we end the first season this year. And this is the closed Zoom session. You make sure the joining members to add the speaker name, not the speaker who speaks tonight, but the speaker who invites them into this meeting for the admission. The first week, we started with our global leader, Diamond Master, Ju Armstrong from Australia, about the company introduction. The next week after, by Star Master, Rebecca Wong. And then the next after, with the Shannon Rose Master Israel Kim from USA. Then the next after that, it was me. I was explaining about the eight step to success. And next after that, it was Sharon Rose Master S.C. Lee from Canada, a daily eight core habits. And we had Sharon Rose Master Jessica Poon Yin from Malaysia. She explained about Auto Sales Master. And we had last week with Sharon Rose Master Sherry Lee from USA. She shared about life scenario. And today we had a very special guest from Singapore, Sharon Rose Master James Chang. He will speak about unlocking leadership skills you already have. And next week we have the last class that is the ending class. We're going to close with our Royal Master Jason Shim from USA. He is a Crown Leaders Club and making over 400,000 per year. He will share about the duplication. So make sure you write down the timing and then also the code and we'll share you the password for next week. So we're very fortunate today. We had a very special guest by Sharon Rose Master James Chang from Singapore. I personally know him about maybe like six months ago. I invited him to one-on-one -on -one Global Leaders interview and then after that we build relationship and then I was so fortunate that he accepted my invitation to speak about the business topic in our business class tonight. I would like to welcome our Sharon Rose Master James Chang. Thank you, thank you. Is that my turn to speak? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> let me put you on spotlight. How are you doing, James Chang? Very good. Thank very you good. very much for inviting me here. No I problem. trust okay. everybody can see and hear okay. Yeah, your son is okay. The floor is yours, Sharon Rose Master James. Yeah, like I said, Sharon Rose Master James Chang is pretty well known for his supplement uh, company video, VODs. I actually met him from one of his VODs from the CS Adam from Singapore. I was so amazed by his knowledge about the supplement. Not only that, but he is very knowledgeable with the company. Thank you so much, Sharon Rose Master James, for always sharing oh, from his heart. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just give me one more minute as the slides load up and then we can 
uh, get going. I trust everybody is well and good, and you are all ready to learn. I hope to be. I hope to be able to just um, you know bring you value tonight, uh, this afternoon or morning for some of you, and I trust that this session will be meaningful for you. Uh, it's about unlocking the leadership skills that you already have. Now, perhaps you want to type a one in the chat group uh, just to get warm up. Huh? One, if you believe that leaders are born. That means you got it. It means you got it. Leaders are born. You type a one. Leaders are made. You can type a two. All right. Okay. We kind of can see that a lot of people still think it's one. Some think it's two. All right. From one of the top um, leadership uh, guru, okay, of uh, I believe should be about 40 over years. I followed him when I was a schoolboy. So um, this gentleman uh, revealed the fact from his years of experience that actually leaders are predominantly made, all right? Predominantly made. Those who are born as leaders, there are just very few of them. But most of us uh, who are leaders or most of the leaders found themselves being in their situation because of circumstances or because they put themselves to it and they decided that they should train themselves up. They develop their skills. They are put in charge of people and so on. And when they do a good job, they are recognized as leaders. If they didn't do a good job, then of course, some of us begin to believe that leaders are made and not, you know, are born and not made, right? But the reverse is true. So let's talk a little bit about how we can proceed from there, how to unlock leadership inside each one of us. Type a three, if you believe you already have leadership skills. All right, uh, thank you very much. Thank you for the confidence. Thank you for your belief, thank you that you have uh, viewed it that way. And type a four if you don't think you have much leader skill to talk about. <laughs> if you somehow think that you're not really a leader, you don't like being a leader, you think you have, don't have much to shout about, you can type a four. Anyone? And then the leaders here will be looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, who are your members who are saying that they don't have much to offer? I hope after tonight you will all uh, change your uh, opinion about this. Okay, after this session, let's move on, right? And um, basically what happened is that I'm coming to you through the angle of an integrated lifestyle and predominantly I'm coming to you because of my background in coaching and in resiliency. And from there, we found that at the end of the day, when we are trying to help people, we are also trying to help them to become leaders. So is there a, an opportunity, is there a, a chance to develop leadership through Atomy? Is there uh, uh, guide, guidelines in this area? You know, do you think that you are basically going to be able to have to become a leader? Uh, can you do enemy without being a leader? Must you become a leader? Do you, do you have what it takes to be a leader and so on? Right? Let's try to answer these questions. And especially for all of us who are three and some of us who are four, and I just saw 3.5, <laughs> they are straddling between, I can do it, I cannot do it, maybe. <laughs> All right, so 3.5, I guess, yeah, in between. Let's move on now, the leader inside. I want to assure you that the moment you are an Atomy member, hear this out now, every one of us, you are here as an Atomy member. You have applied membership, approved in the membership. Now you are a, a member in the Atomy family. I want to present to you the fact that in the Atomy system, you can become a leader. 
and you have what it takes to be a leader. You already have it. Let me explain a little bit more as we go along. Hopefully, you can identify yourself uh, with that and begin to take up the leadership place that is necessary for your success in Adami. Now, how many of you, type of five, if you agree with me, how many of you think that life is basically just, you know, fun, take it easy, everything will be okay, um, you know, let's not be too stressed about life, all right, you must enjoy life, life is fun, type of five, and type of six, if you think that life is like a battle, you've got to really manage the resources, you have to uh, be attentive to the negatives. You have to focus on the positive. You have to be sure that, you know, uh, if you are not keeping in pace, the world will overtake you. The world will overtake you. Is that the case? Some say five, some say six, I say five, five. Let me just put it to you that being a leader is not necessarily a stressful thing. Or being a battle is uh, therefore a stressful, difficult thing, right? A lot of us think that, all right, um, we, I don't want to lift stress. Actually, a lot of us wants to avoid stress. So I guess that must be the motivation behind your five when you mention five. Take it easy with life because you just don't like stress. You hate stress and you feel that stress is such a, you know, a troublesome uh, matter it affects health it affects your perspective it, it affects your your confidence and so on and so forth but i must assure you that if there is no stress the only way where there is no stress in life is when you stop breathing when you stop breathing there will be no stress right actually the reason is because we look at stress or look at any form of pressure, any form of strain, any form of, uh, you know, stretching, you know, in life as a form of stress. Yet, stress can be divided into, for example, you stress, which is positive, which is necessary, like when you breathe, when you think, when you try to solve uh, a situation in front of you when you try to tackle some issues that you face, it is actually a form of you stress and it is necessary, it is positive, it gets your heart to beat faster and therefore improving health when it is able to, you know, at times beat faster than the regular time. All right. And it is able to allow us to be flexible, as in there are moments where you need to be on the edge and there are moments you can relax. Life cannot be just total relaxation, all right? Take it easy, hey, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be laser fair uh, approach in life. It just cannot be the case because it matters to be on battle. But today I want to show you a little bit of how this battle, if we go on in this approach, how it can actually bring you success and bring you peace without the stress right so i want to use the analogy of the roman centurion the roman soldier the roman empire which once upon a time was so strong and so great we start to look at how so and actually it boils down to a very very strong uh, legion or, or or contingent of uh, soldiers so I like to use that as an analogy to bring us to understand what leadership is all about. And the leader inside us begins with actually this particular item that is part of the armor of the soldier. It is called the belt. And it's actually recognized as the belt involving uh, holding up the personal integrity and moral courage personal integrity and moral courage. It signifies that. Of course, in battle, they're talking about the belt, the belt that would hold fast the truth of the armor, what the armor is able to do to protect the soldier, what the armor represents 
How strong is that? It is all held together by the belt. Let's take a look at it. So therein is the belt. You can look at the picture. It holds fast. It protects the important part of the soldier. All right. It is made of uh, material that can hold fast the rest of the uh, armor. Now, it has got to be tight. That's what the belt is. But actually, it represents something. It represents truth. It re represents principle. The belt. If life is like an armor that you need to put on in order to do a battle well, well, it actually, the belt would signify your personal integrity and your moral courage to rise up. So perhaps if you're not so much into the battle thingy, into the stress thingy, and you think that life is supposed to be relaxed, fun, travel, and so on, is there an issue on moral courage? Is there an area of moral courage that you have not uh, come to uh, face up to? Because the, the belt is like a girdle. It holds the entire armor, the entire battle set. How about having an armor so that you are ready to be able to face the challenges of life? Type a seven. If there are many, many challenges in life that you face up to this date, tell me. You can bet on it. All of us face challenges in life. And you cannot face challenges in life taking a very relaxed attitude, all right, have some fun, take it easy, don't take things so seriously. You can't. However, taking things seriously doesn't mean everything is in the heart and in the tough and in the cold and in the rigid. It doesn't mean that. Taking things seriously simply means your personal integrity and moral courage, in my opinion. When I examine this armor piece, especially the belt, it is actually the basis for the armor. You need an armor to fight a good battle of life. You need a very good belt, right? In modern day, you know that in our fashion, in our dress code, the belt can mean a lot of things and people can spend a lot of money buying leather belts, designer belts, and so on. But of course, in the Roman days, the belt is to hold up the armor. It is the basis for battle. I mean, I add, it is the basis for leading. So we're talking about leadership skills. When you are in anatomy right now, before you, is a belt. There is. The belt is spelt in the principle of the company. You have a belt because the principle of a company holds up everything about your atomy experience. If you are looking for success in life through atomy, I want to submit to you that you want to consider having a very good belt. And atomy actually already presented that to you. That's what I mean. You already have the leadership skills because Atomy presents a very good belt, the principal culture that the company offers to all its members because that is the basis for your battle, for your leading, and for your victory. It is the basis for your victory. That is an interesting consideration, don't you find? So, right? When you consider yourself to be entrenched, allow yourself to be entrenched, if I may say, in the, the type of belt, in this case, in anatomy, the culture, the principal culture, the principles behind everything that we do in anatomy, you are ready to lead. You have the basis to lead. You have the basis for victory in your anatomy. I assure you, when you understand the purpose of the belt and be sure that you attend to it, hold on to that belt, which is the principle with which we operate atomy or continue in our membership in atomy, you can be sure that you have the basis now all set in place for you to take leadership, develop leadership and go on to battle the challenges that you will face in life with or without Atomy, and the basis for victory through Atomy. 
right? I hope I have uh, passed on a very simple concept for everyone to understand. More of it as we go along, but now I'm just identifying the individual single piece. Bear with me for a little while, and after that, we will be looking at the armor as a whole. Let's move on there now. And we look at, for example, the second piece of the armor that would represent the leader skills, the leadership skills that you, that you need that is already available to you because you are a member of Atomy. You already have it. It is known as the breastplate, the protective plate. It is commonly known as a breastplate plate of righteousness. Atomy talks about a righteous compensation plan. But in essence, we are looking at a breastplate equivalent of the armor of the Roman soldier. They have the breastplate and it speaks of an upright heart. The breastplate represents an upright heart. So what does that mean? Well, I'm going to give it to you straight. Righteousness as in when you are an atomy member, a practicing atomy member, you are part of that righteous compensation. You are part of doing things right. You are part of a system that allow us to develop righteousness, not your own righteousness. I'm not asking you to start focusing on your own righteousness. How good are you? How much integrity you have? How hardworking are you? And so on. Because if you focus on that, then the challenges in life will start to point towards your slack or the area of your lack. You understand? So it is not about your own righteousness. Some of us have it. Some of us don't have all of it. And so here, it's not a case of punishing yourself for that. Here is not of a case of your own ability, remember? It is about Atomy already availed to you the program, the pattern, the guideline. It presents to you a set of commission. Remember, we all have commission. That means you are commissioned soldiers if you understand, right? And if you are commissioned soldiers, just like the Roman soldiers, my take is that you ought to be one with upright hearts, with grit. You must know that you are empowered to succeed in atomy. You are empowered to lead in atomy because it is not based on your leadership skills. It is not based on your leadership ability that you, you possess yourself, but it's based on a leadership whereby atomy has already presented. If you are doing atomy in that sense, following the principle, following the system, following the way it is recommended to us, you already have a breastplate of righteousness protecting the key area of the heart. This is the main piece. It's the main piece of the Roman uh, armor ready for battle. And when you are ready for battle, I submit to you, you are ready for leading, ready for leadership. And what is that? Because when you put on the breastplate of righteousness, you put on the key to victory by first protecting your heart, your perspective, your sense of, your sense of uh, the practice that is based on the righteous practice system of atomy and not based on your own system. This is the heart of the matter. How do I lead in atomy? How can I become a leader in atomy? Well, take care of your heart. There is this piece called the breastplate. If you look at the picture, it will, it will not allow any of the difficulties in your atomy journey, any of the attack on you by, for example, you know, unkind members and you know, people who do not agree with you when they attack you personally or they make things difficult for your business, for the way you do things. Well, when you have the breastplate of righteousness, you will have grit. You will know that you're already empowered. 
by the atomy system that you should choose to do it the righteous way and you will be well. You will not be disappointed. You will not be disheartened and you will continue to do it because you have been commissioned to do and get the job done. I hope I have communicated an idea that as you put on the belt and put on now the second piece, the breastplate, you are telling yourself, I am protecting my own heart. It is not based on the work that I do, the merits that I earn. No, it is based on the fact that you are an atomy member and the atomy member basically we, we are commissioned to do things right and to practice the righteous compensation plan and the righteous system so that we can remain upright. And on that basis alone, you can have an upright heart. You know you are aligned, you are supported, and you are empowered by the atomy system to allow you to lead with your heart because now you are able to protect your heart. Let me just move on. The third piece of the equipment that forms the entire armor of the soldier is the feet. And it has to do with the feet being, um, you know, um, filled up, prepared, okay, for travel, for movement, but more importantly, to make sure you are stable and you are ready. Ready for what? Ready to share the good news. So the idea of the feet, the, the footwear that the soldiers have, the footwear signifies the idea of delivering news, the news of peace. So in atomy, we are delivering news of peace that you can have absolute quality products, absolute price products, absolute value products, be part of the Atomy membership, enjoy the camaraderie, enjoy the uprightness when people treat one another, enjoy the peace that you are settled because you can absolutely trust the company. That is the peace, right? So recently, we have all come across a certain news that have come out uh, coming from Hong Kong about him or him. Do not panic have absolute trust in a company because in the case, for example, in the case of Singapore, all the himohim that comes in are subject to the HSA spot check and you know toxicity um, evaluation and so forth. And for the last five years, no issue whatsoever. And I believe the same for some of the other companies, some of the other countries as well, right? So you can be rest assured because it is definitely consistent with the righteous practice of atomy. Because atomy is offering goodwill. Atomy could have kept all the profits of good quality products at low price for themselves, remember? And yet, they are willing to apportion part of those profits to share with members. That is goodwill. Not many companies is willing to do that. And now with this goodwill, what you want to do is that your feet, uh, your footwear, basically uh, demonstrate a path of victory, a path to your success in your atomy journey, whereby you will begin to walk the journey of sharing the news which is an ongoing process. You may not agree, you may not understand certain things, but it is ongoing as you continue to walk your journey. Example, when you're doing your eight core, you are walking your journey. When you're sharing the atomy news to people, you are walking the journey. As you continue to walk, you do so stably, you do so readily, and you know it is for goodwill. The company has already offered that to you and now you offer it to the people that you reach out to. You don't get in the way by doing things differently. For example, in the case of the Hong Kong uh, report on Himohim, if some people have bought Himohim 
you know, so to speak, under table, you know, um, or uh, they they pirate in some of the products from China or something like that. It depends on what's the outcome of the investigation. But there's a high possibility because it is possible that hemohim can be faked um, through certain illegal production in China. It is possible. I have personally uh, heard about that because one of my contacts uh, reported that they used Timohim that is totally different right, from uh, when they were in China. So, um, of course, all this is subject to verification, uh, verification and confirmation by the proper channel. So let's uh, be patient and wait for the final confirmation of what is the matter as to the case of uh, Himohim in Hong Kong. So your feet is strapped with news of peace all the time. So your action is not based on FOMO, F-O-M-O, -O, the fear of missing out. So when your feet is all strapped with the information of the goodwill, atomy is good, atomy absolute quality, atomy absolute price, absolute products, absolute experience, all right? building success for one another, teamwork, and so on. All these things are good news of goodwill. Right? and not out of fear. Like recently, I heard of a case in China where my member has been approached by other teams that if you have a certain order of, uh, if you have certain order of a certain points, especially him or him, then they can do the order for you and give you the equivalent of a flush uh, rewards. In other words, they would give you uh, some... Um, financial incentive and give you a gift if you were to hand over the order to them. In other words, they will collect the points because they are challenging. <laughs> so you have practices like that. That is certainly fear of missing out. And that is certainly not the kind of footwear you want to be on as you journey and walk on in your experience with Anthony. But that is my opinion. At the end of the day, I would choose to do it this way because I once I understand the entire armor and put it on all the time, then you can be sure I'm ready for battle, I'm ready to lead, I'm ready for success. And so can you because it's all provided for in the atomy system. What is the next piece? Well, it is the shield. In any battle uh, apparel, you need the shield. It is called the shield of faith. The shield of faith, but really it is a protective shield. But if you think of the shield of faith, what would come to your mind? Well, basically, when you have the faith, again, not your faith, not faith in your faith. In other words, you believe in yourself. No, we're not talking about believing in yourself. We're not talking about faith in your faith. This leadership skill provided by Atomy, which you already have the moment you are an Atomy member, when you follow the system, is a faith that would break away and nullify negatives, like in this case, the Hong Kong news. Right? It will protect you and help you withstand the attacks that come on you. Oh, Atomy is very tough. Oh, uh, you know, it is another MLM. Oh, uh, we can get it anywhere, eBay, Lazada, so on and so forth. Why must I go through you? And all these negative to your faith must not be in yourself or in your ability to speak or in your ability to convince people. You will be attacked in that sense. You will be discouraged. You will be... Um, defeated. But if you were to lead in this area, your faith is your conviction on the atomy logo, uh, motto, absolute quality, absolute price, the philosophy of atomy. That is the faith, the shield of faith. We protect ourselves. It is, it is con a conviction that I want to encourage you 
to have. Once you have this conviction, it is a very protective shield to withstand against all the ongoing naysayers, the ongoing attack on the atomy possibility and the success that it can provide for you. So when you have the shield of faith, basically you are relating to atomy all the time and you are relating to your members all the time. So it is again also an ongoing process and it is relationship based. Therefore, you need to lead in that relationship. I don't know what is your perspective about leadership. Some are just waiting for it to happen. Some may want to make it happen but wondering what to do to make it happen. But to this moment, I'm sharing with you, you don't have to particularly do anything except that it is already provided for you when you pursue the atomy success system. You will have the shield of faith because it will help you develop inside you a sense of conviction on the atomy uh, stability. All right. This is the approach to victory. You really want to do well and win in your battle of life to be successful. If you want to win the battle uh, of leadership, then you need this shield of faith to be constantly being worked on when you relate to your partners, when you relate to the company, you relate to the leaders, you relate to the country manager. And where do you do the relating? In your eight daily call action. If you miss one of my uh, sharing session on the eight call, go look for it. I think it is online in the um, Atomy Oceana. I think you will find it there where I talk about relating. It is actually the second step. That once you get to know uh, a sense of your philosophy and your value system and how that matches with the atomy business that you have in mind, the next thing you do, you want to get to know the company, you are relating to the company so that actually you are developing your shield of faith for you to have the conviction necessary, necessarily to ward off all the ongoing negatives uh, so that you can withstand. And the key thing about leadership through atomy is that you must stand. When the, the armor pieces were described in one of the very important books of mankind, when the armor was described, three times it was described in the context of stand. You need to stand. You need to stand up. You need to just remain standing, which speaks to me of leadership. You need to lead, you need to be in the front, you need to keep going, and the armor will help you stay there. All right? So stay in understanding. Understanding that when you have Atomy, the membership, you have more than just an online shopping mall. You have a platform that allows you to do hyper-connectivity, and that is relationship. And that is the uh, interconnection that impacts your life. It is more than just a shopping mall. It is a hub. And this is the new uptrend in the world today when we are talking about online activities, online shopping, online marketing, online business. And Atomy is online business in, in, to a certain extent. But it is beyond the typical online business where someone is trying to sell something to the customer who came online. Atomy is developing a hub which requires interconnection, relationship, community, and very good offers. And Atomy offers you goodwill in the products, in the training, in the system that you have available to you. So you certainly have Every skill that you need is already here to just use it and, and uh, develop your leadership through Atomy. Let's go on to the fifth, the helmet of salvation. Being safe, being protected, being sound, being stable, thinking clearly, 
the helmet. And that is precisely the purpose of this headgear, to protect you, keep your head in its place, so to speak. It is not a, I think so, I guess so, I hope so. Sometimes we go along the atomy journey that way. The, the company, is it reliable? I hope so. Inside us, we tell ourselves, the products, are they really good? I think so. Can I succeed in atomy? I guess so. But when you have the helmet of salvation, it must be, I know so. You have seen the others succeed. When you go through the atomy system, you will learn to put on the helmet of salvation to protect your perspective. Oh, you're just being biased. You're an atomy member. Of course, we are biased. And bias is necessary. And bias is good because all of us are biased in some one way or another, depending on which area, which side of the fence you're on. There is no such thing as no bias. There's really no clear sense of objective, uh, neutral position. Everyone has taken up a decision, taken up a position. Okay, If they are not for a particular proposal, right? So you have to speak intuitively from within you. I want to ask a question. When you say you are, and we are all, we all are human beings, are you body more, mind more, or spirit more? You can type an answer there. Do you think that a human being, a human person, you and I, we are predominantly wired in the spirit world or in the mental world as in your thoughts and emotions and all that, or in the physical world, your body, you know, your muscles, your, your systems in your physical health and so on? All right, I saw some uh, answers all in union. Um, you are right, but you are predominantly wired in the spirit. We always talk about the spirit of a man. It is the spirit that perceives. It is a, a spirit that has intuition, have this sixth sense, have this idea and perspective about things that cannot be explained in words or cannot be explained in science. You just know it and you know it. And then it is decoded or translated in the mind, expressed through your emotions, your memory, your imagination, your intellect, and your will, where you put all these into meaning. Because we are human beings. We make use of the, the mental faculty to make sense. But the first thing that gives rise to thought in your mind is actually from your spirit. Okay, when you search, research this topic, you will find that um, we are not too far away from such a rendition of the makeup of the human person, spirit, mind, body. The body basically follows. The body follows whatever the mind is able to um, authorize and initiate through the hormones, uh, through the central nervous system, through the mental uh, synapses of your uh, neural uh, activity in your mind. Okay? So, when you speak, and you have the helmet of salvation, and when you speak, you actually would speak from the spirit because the helmet signifies a protection of the mental condition you manage. Some people are more imaginative, some people are more emotional, some people are more willful, some people are more, uh, you know, based on the, the memory of the past, affected by the past, and some people are very analytical, very intellectual. However, which one dominates? Yet one of them dominates at some point in time throughout. So therefore, when you learn to speak intuitively, I mean it comes from the spirit.
spirit, right? And the spirit is to be able to establish what you have. In this case, in atomy, in my opinion, what does atomy offers you? The information, you look around, the people, the successes, the progress of the company, and so on. Then you can measure how you are able to speak. What do you say? What do you tell yourself? It should be measured in accordance to those evidence. So you will have an even temperament. You won't suddenly feel afraid, suddenly stress, or suddenly have doubts about your atomy success or your atomy experience. But you can have an even temperament whereby you are progressing and growing and steadily improving and assuring yourself as you protect what's going on in your thinking. That is the mind of victory. It is not something that will happen naturally. It is something that you must learn. All right. The uh, University of Pennsylvania, when I attended the um, uh, trainer trainers program on uh, cognitive uh, uh, residency program and all that, basically, uh, my research has proven that uh, a lot of our thinking are learned responses rather than, you know, uh, something that comes out from the spirit. So if you can begin to exert a balanced um, influence on the way your mind will think and develop a directed mind, the law of a directed mind, the law of a disciplined mind, then you basically have the helmet of salvation put on properly and you can stay focused on truth. Right? So atomy provides for that because it is based on principle, it is based on goodwill, and it is based on the fact that when you put in your effort, it will give you the result. If you put in the wrong effort or the wrong strategy, the results do not agree. The results do not last long. The result does not just include money. The result include your leadership, your relationship, your people, your community. So do not be deceived by status and mastership and amount of money earned and all that because that is just one part of the entire representation of success in Adamy. Let me just move on. And the last part of the equipment here is known as the sword. Or some people say the sword of the spirit. I mentioned spirit just now. Why the sword of the spirit? It's the word of truth. It's the word that comes off from your spirit. It's the word that is honest, that is your on the true, truest, honest self, the word that builds the word that develop, the word that is meaningful and helpful, not a word based on emotion and bias and fear and anger. So that word is the sword. So the sword is a very necessary piece of the weapon when you are in battle for success in life, for success in atomy, for success in your leadership, right? This sword basically is the word that you live by. In other words, if you haven't used him or him, please do not promote him or him. If you have never used supplements, please do not say atomy supplement is good because that is not the word you live by. So we develop truthfulness. That is the sword of the spirit. And when you have truthfulness and therefore have that word, then this sword of the spirit become very useful tool when you are breaking down the barriers of uh, that is in front of you, breaking down the obstacle that you face. It is something that comes off naturally, just like I'm speaking to you. It is not scripted, right? It is not something that you put on, like in the case in the case of a sales environment, you 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 must say the right thing. However, I want to. Um, submit to you that when you are practicing leadership and you have that in you because Atomy talks about the word that you live by. In other words, absolute quality, absolute price products. Why? I use them. Many people use them and it 
came through. I speak confidently. I speak naturally. I do not speak in a scripted manner. And I can go on sharing all the way. Nothing can stop it. Oh, very difficult. Uh, nowadays, uh, because of the uh, movement restriction in many uh, environments, we are not able to do it. Who says so? All you need is your mouth, your message, and your microphone. <laughs> if I may put it that way, your 3M will get you very far. That is part of your, the sword of the spirit, the sword, the tool, the weapon that you can cut down the obstacles that hinder your progress and your success. So this is the message of victory, the message of your battle and your leadership, the message from your spirit, the word that you live by. So therefore, you must be truthful. This is what we mean when we talk about the sword of the spirit. So let me now summarize them. There you are, the six pieces of, uh, of uh, article that forms the entire uh, armor that sets you up ready for success, anatomy, true leadership. Because these pieces of article basically helps you in developing your leadership that is based on truth, based on uprightness, based on steady and ready uh, presentation of information, based on protection, you are protected so that you can continue, based on safety, you are thinking straight, thinking right, and based on word of truth. Let me just move on now. How do we then apply them. There you are. If you were to look at the details of the uh, various article in the uh, armor, you will find that, uh, for example, the footwear is made of sharp nails at the bottom to have a good grip. Of course, to subdue their opponent. Right? And then uh, most of the, uh, um, the belt is made of... Uh, you know, uh, strong metallic pieces and leather to prevent uh, easy intrusion into your, into your body, right? Including the breastplate and so on and the shield. But I'm not here talking about this. I'm here talking about the truth about leading. When you put on the armor, okay, I want to present to you how do we do it? Now you have the armor, true atomy. When you follow the atomy system, you must remember you need to have truth, which is the philosophy and the uh, principles that atomy practice. You need to have uh, righteous practice, which is a breastplate. And then you need to have the shield. You need, you need to have your, your uh, feet prepared. Okay? The gospel is just another word for news, the news of peace, as I mentioned. And when you do all these things, well, let me suggest to you, how do we do it? How do we do it? Well, first, you lead from spirit. It is the spirit that will impact the mind and then the body and then the action. This is a definite sequence proven in science, proven in research. It cannot be the body, oh, I attend Success Academy. It cannot be the mind, oh, I record everything and I memorize the script. And then you think you're providing leadership. No, it must come from your spirit. And your spirit must have that change when you honestly and truthfully, you know, um, follow the atomy success system in this case, all right? We're talking about the atomy experience now. From the spirit, when your vision of atomy is based out of your spirit, then you will be able to choose the right messages or the right thinking that you want to allow yourself. In the recent, in the recent finding, they have discovered that the IQ of uh, students nowadays have been, is actually lower compared to previous era um, because of too much focus on you know, the digital devices, the uh, TV programs, and, and so on, which is basically what is commonly accepted as mindless activity, 
when you are watching or playing digital game, you know, it's just actually mindless activity uh, uh, in some ways, huh? especially if you're watching movies and just letting it flow. You know, there is no uh, practicing of mental processes, right? However, if it's something that comes out of your spirit, you can decide how the mind should think, right? And then when you think correctly, the body will follow and respond. Of course, you cannot think yourself out of a problem. If you have high cholesterol, you cannot think every day, low cholesterol, low cholesterol, low cholesterol, and then you have low cholesterol. Of course not, because it must come from your spirit. And your spirit will be, ah, every time you see the, you know, the, the double stick uh, burger and so on, and what do you go for? You know, the spirit in terms of food, right? So you must first lead from the spirit. What is inside you? What is it telling you about? What are the right things you should do? How do you relate to people? And once you understand that, then you can begin to allow your mind to only choose thoughts that support that rather than just let it think and let it flow and let it run on its own, which most times is subject to the bias of your past, subject to environmental influence, subject to the presence of important others who may influence you in the wrong way at that point in time, even if it's unintentional. So lead from your spirit. That's the first point. Lead first with truth. And then we talk about science. And then we talk about facts. And then we talk about an adopter. So what is truth? Truth is basically the philosophy. Does it hurt people? Does it help you? Is it helpful? Is it proven over time? Does it build people? Or is it just self-centered? What is truth? Of course, there are there is another you know uh, uh, world of research altogether, but in principle, generally, you lead first based on truth. Cherish the spirit. Someone mentioned that is true. Yes, and then we talk about science. What science can prove? Because science cannot prove a lot of things. Science cannot prove the spirit, for example, right? Let me look at facts. Somebody took this and took that and something happened. So that's facts. So do, are you affected by it or do you investigate that? What is the truth behind? Absolute quality, absolute price. The truth is they did their best to give us the best deal. Otherwise, they could very well just keep everything for themselves. Just remember that. And if they want to stinge by uh, you know, cutting back on certain uh absolute quality ingredients or practices or something like that, then it will be inconsistent with the overall spirit of atomy to be successful and to help its member to be successful. It will be silly of them to do that. So you can be assured that it is based on truth. And let us move on. You lead first yourself, then your loved ones, then your community. So don't look for leaders. If you are looking for leaders, to stand in front of the mirror. You have one right away. All right? Lead yourself. All of you and me, we can lead ourselves. That's why I said we have leadership skill inside us. If you don't believe me, ask your mother. How do ask all the mothers here? How do you bring up your children? You have to lead them. <laughs> and sometimes you lead them by raising your voice. Stop doing that. <laughs> you are, you know, signaling the direction for a certain behavior. Right? That is leadership. And all of us have it. You took control of a situation that may, be, may potentially hurt the child. You can lead, certainly, I'm sure. All of us can. We just need to develop it. And thankfully, through the Atomy membership, you have more opportunity than other times to develop leadership. So you lead yourself. And then some of you will be asking, oh, I lead first this, and I lead first that, and I lead first this and that, and everything lead first, yes. At the end of the day, just lead first. <laughs> All right, lead first, and then you relate 
next and then you grow and then you succeed some people want to grow quickly some people want to succeed quickly i buy up i buy up. i want to succeed quickly i want to grow i keep talking to many many people and they forgot about leaving themselves by putting on the armor that we talk about protecting what you are thinking protecting your your um principle practices your principles that you stand by which is your heart okay protecting you know uh, the foot what you are doing where you are going and so on right let me just move on i think we should be home so we should be home soon leading the atomy business so how do we do that well basically you straight away know you have to lead the company motto because that is the right basis when you embrace the company motto you are leading the right basis for the business no other basis this is the basis money cannot be the basis it will not last long your success will not last you can lead by the principal culture that is the approach try not to look for business people then when you have one on the left you have one on the right straight away you are made it is not true because what about the people who come after that unless you are self-centered you don't bother about anybody else you just want to make it then you can but if you really want to be successful in anatomy with lasting success you need people to be successful just as you better still they are first they arrive at success earlier than you <laughs> if at all possible so lead the right approach when you follow the principal culture when you do the life scenario plan you lead the right start oh i don't like life scenario plan i don't know what to do and blah 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 then you are not leading why you haven't let yourself lead yourself in your own life scenario plan you will be able to lead others the eighth step to success familiarize yourself because that is the practice when you do that you will be able to lead in the area of the type of practice that must happen for atomy success which therefore is actually a very good base a very good uh, formula it is a blueprint you don't need to reinvent the wheel you don't need to think again lead in the area of for example your daily actions that is the habit i believe that when you are focused on this area your armor will form up very very well success system is where you grow if you want to lead the growth then the success system cannot be ignored and finally the mastership challenge the compensation plan will allow you to lead towards the right rewards okay but why <laughs> why why do we need to do that well very simple reason why must you lead tell me why you must lead everybody why must we lead ourselves just type in something that comes to your mind why do you lead one two words whatever come on tell me why must you lead why must you be a leader why must you lead others good for discipline okay be an example something better pave the way for your partner help and guide help others yes 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 successful and focused duplication yes it's your own business yes you lead i present to you two very good at this responsible i share i i and i want to share tell you tell you why why you must lead because it involves people so you have to be responsible you have to relate to people you must lead and it involves money you have to be responsible if you are not responsible for money you will not have money because you are not able to handle it the only way you can be rich and successful is when you know how to handle when you know how to handle you must know how before you know how to handle you must know how to lead be the leader 
because you always will face with this issue. Is it your interest or is it somebody else's interest? Which one comes first? You will always have this battle. Remember, we talk about battle in life. This is one of the battle. The internal conflict that you face, take care of yourself first or take care of others. Rise up first or help others rise up first. There is no real answer to that. It really depends on your armor. Then you will know how to lead so that you can take care of both because both are necessary. So with that, I trust that as I speak in a somewhat philosophical way, some people think it's philosophy, but I hope I've given you enough uh, you know, evidence and link to what we do so that it makes sense that leadership is not about a skill that you think about because a lot of us struggle with all these things. So I didn't want to do the typical approach. I tell you the leadership skill comprises this, this, that, that, and all that. But I tell you in the form of an armor where you need to put on and you will be able to stand and do well as a leader. All right? And with that, I want to thank everyone for your time. And I hope that you have uh, nuggets of truth that you have uh, found and that you will be able to take them and apply them or ask your questions. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Over, over back to you now. Yes, thank you so mind. much. Thank you so much, Sharon Rose Master James. There was a amazing presentation. I wasn't expecting like that. It was like a, <laughs> a Sunday lecture, but I love it, right? I think everyone loves it. So everyone has a new insight about, about what, what we were thinking about the leadership. We thought that leader was born, but it was not really born. It was made. Thank you once again, Sharon Rose Master James Chang. Let's give him another round, big of applause, right? Give a gesture or make a movement. Make sure that he's aware that you love his lecture. Thank you so much, everyone. So before we go to the Q&A, we're going to have a group photo, if you don't mind turning on your camera. So at least we are on the same frame with our Sharon Rose Master James Chang this tonight. Okay, there are five pages, over 200 people over here. So when I say Atomy, make sure you make a loudest tease so you look good. Atomy, yeah, that's one, second page. Atomy, that's two. So you wouldn't know when you are going to be taken. Just keep make a big smile. Atomy, that's third. Okay, this is fourth. Atomy, and last page. Atomy. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you once again, Sharon Rose Master James Chang. Appreciate your uh, insight. You're about welcome. The leadership. Thank you, thank you. Right. So we go to the QA session right now. If you want to make a question, you can raise your hand and I will unmute yourself. And I will read it from the chat group over here, from the chat box. It is from Indonesia, Harry Halambang. Question So if I haven't consumed him or him, for an example, so I shouldn't share or sell him or him even though I heard many testimony from other members? I guess any one of us can answer, <laughs> but if it's directed towards me, I wouldn't recommend that because it doesn't come from inside you as in your honest uh, information that you're sharing. You're not, you're not sh as, as they say, you're not sharing from your heart. And I can bet you uh, the person you're talking to can tell after a while because it's coming from your spirit. You see, people don't buy products, people buy you, right? So uh, you, once you understand that, then you want to, in a way, present yourself more than the product you're trying to offer, okay? And you present yourself not artificially, you know, with a put on and, and so on. You present yourself as in you want to attract them uh, based on your honesty, sincerity, and based on truth, okay? Your philosophy, uh, which is very important. All right. 
I don't know whether that answers your question. Um, I don't know what is stopping you from trying out him or him or using him or him. Um, but my my take is that up to 95% of people will eventually have to use him or him. No, not immediately, right? Because sometimes we have ongoing condition that needs to be addressed. But eventually, everyone would find that him or him is the way to go because of this huge extensive research because of its uh, you know the nature of the product and because of the purpose of the product which is something that very few of us uh, would venture to question what is the purpose of those products why do you eat <laughs> all right that's another fundamental question the purpose of your food right so once you understand that then um Okay, uh, Kimberly asked a personal question. What struck you first to pursue Atomy? It is the Himohim product. <laughs> uh, Himohim product, I was quite impressed with the research. I, I was looking for something that will raise up immunity because in, in the supplement world, very little uh, comprehensive uh, product, a product that is comprehensive enough to um, you know, take care of the immunity, immune response, uh, immunity issues. Uh, there are very, very few. In fact, none. All right. And now Himohim is the is the first one and the only one to date that I understand. Every other product is basically going by other aspects. Uh, because immunity is made up of uh, different different aspects you've got intrinsic factor you have detoxification issues you have you know uh, liver uh, effectiveness and so on you know so some people are going at different different angle to raise immunity in the long run but only hemohim uh, focus exactly on immune response and so on all right so that's the reason why in case i miss any questions some of you can prompt me Mm -hmm. So the next question from Steffi Ko. I'm curious that those in carry is not doing tests on him or him against COVID. It is an opportunity time. What do you think of this? So we say that again, I missed that. So I'm curious that those in carry is not doing tests on him or him against COVID. It is opportunity time. Carry is not doing tests against COVID. Against COVID. With the uh, I think there are already too many tests going on for COVID. <laughs> At the end of the day, um, COVID is not actually COVID. The COVID virus, coronavirus, already exist, existed long ago from the same family of your bird flu and, uh, and so on. Right, so it's not actually it's not really a new thing. It's just that it's a new strain, probably a new strain that they are not able to have vaccine fast enough to deal with it. Right, and um, you will find that now uh, the topic of discussion isn't about the COVID vaccine, uh, the COVID virus anymore. All the common discussion has gone to the area of vaccination. <laughs> So that, I hope, gives you a sense of why they talk about the COVID virus or coronavirus. It seems to be a prelude to something else. Yeah. Something for you to think about and chew on. Okay, Why Kerry doesn't want to do this research, I think that it, there is no, like I just mentioned, I don't think there is a real reason to research that. And uh, in any case, there are already many, many scientists looking at that. Uh, in other circles and not find the answer, right? Mm -hmm. There were already research going on for about more than 10 years trying to tackle coronavirus, which already happened many years back, but they could not find the answer. Okay, so this yes. is a little bit of the background situation. Okay. okay. So the question is kind of stray away from the topic. <laughs> okay, let yeah. me just read it out the question that really related. Right. Okay. Um, Somebody mentioned about uh, introvert. Yes. Being an introvert. Uh, for an introvert, what would be the first step to address before being able to lead others? Change your mind. <laughs> Change your mind. You. No one is born an introvert. Right. I mean, the baby come out crying. Nobody say no. Baby come out. Oh, sorry. I'm an introvert. I keep quiet. <laughs> right. So no one is born an introvert. In, your sense of introvert is, number one, perceived. 
Number two is a learned behavior. And even if you become a leader, you are not expected to be an extrovert. You just say the right thing at the right time to the right people in the right environment, that's all. And you find that mix. You become good at establishing that mix. And there are times where you just prefer to keep quiet or not say anything. And that's fine. And you can still be a leader. Right? So it's not particularly tied to being an uh, introvert or being an extrovert. Yep. Leadership, uh, remember the armor. So there are different, different areas. You're talking about representation of truth. You're talking about readiness, stability, uh, goodwill. You're talking about from your spirit and so on. So it's not just about speaking. All right. I hope that answers your question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So this one is from Malaysia, Zico. What if an individual doesn't accept the truth or facts from us and accuse us forcing them to accept? It's more like a class of perspective on the truth or facts. How do we cope on that? I think no one will accuse you of forcing on them unless you are actually doing it. So in the first place, remember, we said that you must come off from your spirit. So what is your spirit? You are in a hurry. You are afraid of missing out. You are trying to close a sale. What is in the spirit? Right? So that will come up when you present information to the person. Right? So you've got to ask yourself of that. I don't think anyone is uh, too quick to do that unless it is too clear a sign that you're trying to close a sin. And people resist that by saying that, oh, you are biased or you are not, you know, um, you, you're basically not honest in, uh, in, in giving me uh, what, I, what I need. You're just trying to close a sin. So, the first thing you need to do is relationship. Build the relationship. Build the know, like, and trust factor between you and the person you're talking to. So forget about trying to close anyone in the first round. You can try, but you don't try in the first instance. The moment you meet the person, you start talking about that in a matter of a few minutes. You can't do that. You probably would have to develop a time of uh, getting to know, building up camaraderie, building up relationship. Even if, it's, even if it takes 10, 15 minutes, do that. Build trust. Build know, build like. And be ready to just walk away without fear of missing out. Because there are so many people in the world. <laughs> Don't just think that because if this one doesn't happen, then you are, you are going to miss out. Don't think that way. Uh, this, this morning, I just had, had a, a report of this cus customer of mine, which is a very good customer, now has decided to uh, you know, buy products from another team. Why? Because the, the member who is servicing him did not do follow-up properly. So that's a problem. So, so instead of reacting, getting upset, jumping up and down, I find that, well, that is a consequence of the lack of action. And therefore, we must do better to do follow-up with existing customers that we have and move on, build some more people, build up some more people. All right? Next. Mm -hmm. So what is your video link that I can view in the Atomy Map? website that you mentioned i think that's about your go to youtube look for atomy oceana so the official I website it, uh, yeah. i think it's a one day one day seminar one day seminar yeah youtube official official atomy oceana channel in the youtube mm -hmm. yeah yeah you may okay. I think it's uh, probably june this year it may be or june last year i can't remember Mm -hmm. I mean, I, okay. it's not this year, sorry. It's probably last year. Right. So the next question probably for me, are we able to get your recording on this talk? Unfortunately, I don't release to public yet for the business classes, probably after we end the first season, may or may not. So if you lost this, <laughs> not attending, then it will be your loss. So there are a lot of positive comments here. James, I will send you personally right all these positive feedbacks so i think that's the end of the question once again i want to thank you for your time generous master james chang from singapore sure. and really appreciate your time and your insight about the leadership unlocking our leadership thank you so much so we're done to the last minutes before we end so we've done so many classes i think we've done seven and today is the eighth 
and we have to we're gonna have close for the next week by royal master jason shim make sure you register if you haven't attended one of the business class or if you have attended make sure you get the password from your sponsor of or me or whoever the speaker that you know then make sure you put an alarm because some of us we have the time zone changing and make sure you <laughs> attend at the right time okay so we're gonna chant out our company motto i will open up the microphone you want to say anything as loud as possible yes okay yeah go ahead you can unmute yourself okay ready everyone in the count of three one two three two. company motto Cherish the spirit, the spirit, the spirit, the vision, follow the faith, the Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.